Hello, Principal Collins. Sam is here. You asked to see him? Yes, have a seat, Sam. Mary, any update? You received any donations from the alumni? Not yet, sir. Well, keep trying. We don't have much time left. Yes, sir. Sam, I was just talking to your science teacher, and she says you're not doing very well in class. What's going on? I just don't like science. But if you talk to my English teacher, I'm doing really well in that class. Listen, if you want to be successful, you have to do well in every class, or you'll never get anywhere. It doesn't matter what you like. But, Principal Collins, I don't want to become a scientist. I want to become a writer. That's my dream. <laughs> a writer? Son, if you don't succeed in one class, that means you'll never succeed in life. The only thing you'll ever become is a failure. But, Principal Collins... Listen! I've had students like you, and they never amount to anything. Sorry to bother you, but a woman is here to see you now. All right, Sam, wait in the hallway. I'm not finished with you yet. Would you like me to bring her in now? Wait. First, how are we doing on the alumni donations? We don't have much time left. Um, I'm sorry, Principal Collins, but I haven't had any luck. It's okay. Just how much money have we received? We haven't gotten anything. Nothing? That's impossible. Call every alumni that we have and tell them that if we don't get $25,000, we're gonna have to close the school down. But sir, I've called everyone on the list. Well, call them again, Mary. We're $25,000 short on budget, okay? If we don't get someone, we're both losing our jobs. Do you understand that? You got it, Principal Collins. Go ahead and bring that woman in now. Here she is, sir. Have a seat. So how can I help you? I heard the school was in need of some money, so I came to make a donation. A donation to the school? Oh my god, this is amazing. This is exactly how much we need. Thank you so much, Miss... Miss Miller? Yes, Jessica Miller. Jessica Miller. That name sounds familiar. Do I know you? Yes. Actually, Principal Collins, you do know me. I used to go to school here. You see, one year when I wasn't doing well in my math class, you pulled me into your office. You told me that I would never amount to anything in life. When I told you I wanted to become a writer, you said the only thing I would become was a failure. I thought what you said about me was true, but over time, I realized I didn't need your approval to be successful. I could succeed on my own. As time went by, it turns out I did amount to something in life. I ended up becoming a successful writer. In fact, my last book became the best-selling book of this entire year. So you see, Principal Collins, maybe I didn't do well in math, but that didn't stop me from becoming one of the best writers in the world. Miss Miller, I'm, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Thank you, Principal Collins. Now, I am giving you this under one condition. Promise me, from now on, you'll let students know that just because you don't succeed in one class doesn't mean you can't succeed in life. Yes, absolutely. You have my word. Now, do you have a second? I, there's someone I want you to meet. Yes, of course. Mary, can you send Sam back in? Yes, sir. Right away. I have another student who wants to be a writer, too. Yes, Principal Collins. Young man, I think I owe you an apology. Just because you don't succeed in one class doesn't mean you won't succeed in life. I think you would make an amazing writer. Wow. Thank you, Principal Collins. That means a lot to me. And I think I know someone who might be able to help you with that. Hi, I'm Jessica Miller. It's a pleasure to meet you, young man. Wait, wait, wait. The Jessica Miller? You're like my idol. You're the reason I got into writing in the first place. Wow. 
I'm glad my work inspires you. Now, I hear you want to be a writer too. Do you have any cool stories in mind? Are you serious? Yes, I do. So you see, I have this idea about a kid, and it's in the 80s, and it's when he's his best friend. Hey YouTube fam, it's Dar. I hope you love that message about how just because you don't succeed at one thing doesn't mean that you won't succeed at everything. I actually got the idea from this video from an audiobook I heard on Audible called That Will Never Work by Mark Randolph. I've been subscribed to Audible for over three years and the reason I'm telling you this is because right now for a limited time, you can get three months of Audible for just $6.95 a month. That's more than half off their regular price. Choose one audiobook and you get two Audible originals, which is some exclusive content that Audible offers. I'm telling you guys that listening to audiobooks has really changed my life. That's why I'm recommending it to you. To get this deal, you can use my code. Go to audible.com slash darman, or you can text darman to 500-500. Again, guys, by using my code, you'll get a special offer with three months of Audible for just $6.95 a month. This is a perfect gift for yourself, especially going into 2020 and conquering all your goals or even gifting it to a friend. All you have to do is go to audible.com slash darman or text darman to 500-500. I appreciate you guys watching my videos and remember, we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share my videos or tell others about them, you're helping to change lives too. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video.